Hey Poopsies, welcome back to another reading this time around. We're going to be doing a pick a flower reading, so we're going to start with flower one. Flower two. Flowers three. So whatever draws you in intuitively, pick one, two, or all three flowers. And let us begin. Flower one. So these are two separate individual flowers. I'm going to be ripping apart for sounds. I did not do it beforehand. Let's see what the messages are for you at this time. All right, good. What's the message? So interesting. Um, I would say stop giving effort into things that are already working for you, okay? Because you're going to overexert yourself. I see some of you like literally sweating for and by overexerting yourself. You don't need to work that hard right now because something's going to work here in your favor. It may not, you may not see the bigger picture or the, this reality soon, but you will give it a few months. Um, there's a beautiful outcome with someone, a resolve, a resolution, maybe just peace in general, right? Maybe someone just wants peace, wants your peace, wants to be peaceful with you, right? And it's like they don't want to share that energy unless it's peaceful, you see? So keep it peaceful, you know, respect their wish. And if they don't want to talk about something, respect that as well, because you'd want that for yourself, wouldn't you? As they say, treat others as you want to be treated as. Although I, I get that that's hard to do, because it's hard to think of everyone as yourself and yourself as part of everyone, you know? And at the same time, talking to someone, it's like, it, it's hard to do all those at the same time. It really is. Um... But if you apply like love as a principle, you're not going to be hateful. You're not going to come across with hurtful words. And, you know, maybe you're talking about someone with someone that's close to that person or, you know, friends with them, that, that individual. And it's like, they don't want you talking bad about them. Right? So this is what I'm getting here. Mm. Slow, I'm seeing a snail. So slow things, slow progress, slow things moving slowly, per se. All right. Um, I would zoom in, but honestly, if I zoom in, you're not going to see many of the flowers. So, <laughs> um, careful, be careful. I don't know what this means. Some of you are on ladders, I'm seeing climbing up things, um, working skyscrapers, you know, maybe window washer. Like, be careful. Make sure that rope is good. <laughs> if you go bungee jumping or skydiving, make sure that rope is good. <laughs> or don't do it at all, okay? Just don't do it, right? Um, you're leaving a trail. You're leaving a trail behind. Um, don't forget your stuff. If you go somewhere, don't forget that wallet. Don't forget that phone, that purse. That expensive handbag you just bought at Gucci because you felt like it. Um, don't forget. And don't leave a trail behind, also. I'm sorry, but if you're doing something sneaky, yeah, I said it, you're going to get caught. So don't leave a trail. Um, don't think you're just going to get away with it. I, I th see a lot with airlines and planes, something with that. Um... I have a feeling um, 
it's gonna go on for months. It's gonna be like maybe just like um, it's not delay. I don't know what I'm saying to be honest with you. It's quick. It's fast. May have something to do with April or May. That's all I'm seeing here. Mm. Someone with a name with the letter V, first master middle name. Vicky, Victoria, you know, V, right? V names, Vinny, stuff like that. Um, someone is really, um, it's like they're trying to connect with you, but they can't. No matter how much they try to reach, they can't. And that's like someone who's always trying to reach for someone that's like their food, right? So we have to realize like maybe that person's being ignored for a reason, you know? Someone's experimenting with different colors, like um, colors and like shirts or outfits or just like walls or, or just there's different colors. Like maybe it's a season to change what you're doing. Stop operating the same mindset, the same old way, you know, maybe replace that 1998 Mustang. You know what I'm saying? Like change it up a bit, paint it, make it look, you know, refurbish that place, you know, mm, clean those filters, like there's something needs to be a change in a color and environment, right? You're needing a change. Um, and also don't expect others to do the work that you're leaving behind. So if you call in sick one day during this winter season, um, yeah, that person's not going to catch up or keep up the way you know how to do that job. So don't be surprised. You, have, you heal, you come back and you're like, crap. I have to now do even double work because this person messed up. So make sure you clarify with them how to do something. I see someone crying here. You're missing someone dearly. It feels like a passed on pet. Could be a passed on loved one, but it feels more like an animal energy here. Um, but there's like an interruption. It's like someone's like, stop crying or just like they don't want to see you hurt. Um, now I think is a better time to take better care of your health, especially now into winter. I think get as much sunlight as you can while you can. I said it while you can, because I, I see like a lot of like either cloud cover or just like cold weather. So you're not going to get as much, you know, sunlight for sure. Um, I see, um, it's funny what I'm seeing here several uh, peacocks, but they're all merged together as one. It's like a family, a union, a family reunion perhaps, a meeting, a gathering of sorts. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention, TonyBomboni.com. If you'd like to book your own personal readings, make sure you guys subscribe as well. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, I'll mention it at the end, I guess. I just forgot <laughs> my introduction. Um, so... Mm -hmm. But some of your families, it's like you're meeting one family and you're gossiping and talking crap about the, <laughs> the other family. So maybe this means like you're getting married to someone and both families on both sides of the marriage are being like, oh, but, mm, you know, you gave me a, a, a look like that and you shouldn't have looked at me like that. And, and all of a sudden it, the wedding turns into an argument. <laughs> okay. I mean, shoot. Right. Um... I think you have to work with, I know this sounds crazy, soft objects like silk. Something with the hands, I think is very fulfilling, like knitting, yarning, but also be careful not to hurt yourself doing those things. Because again, something with health, you still have to be careful. You, you can do, there's no fear here, you can go, you can work, but be careful. Again, overexerting yourself, maybe you're working too much in the dead of heat and you're wondering why you're not healthy. Um, so be mindful, but still do. I think the energies are very good right now collectively, so I'm not seeing anything too concerning here. Um, but yeah, I would say hmm, that's the overall message. I think into next year, you're going to be very much, um, some of you like working with cosmetics or beauty, or you're going to look more beautiful because you're going to have worked on yourself, maybe your diet or lifestyle change or fitness change. So you're just going to feel glow more. You're going to feel like worthy of more you deserve more that kind of energy here okay so that was your um pick a flower reading one thank you so much
actually I don't know why I pulled it away my goal maybe next time I always forget but my goal was to pour flour on top of flour but it eh, wasn't meant to be right maybe I'll do it for the second and third one all right thank you flower one that was your messages so if you picked flower number two here is the messages for you Move this away what are the messages for flower oh flower to the flamingo cup all right that's enough it's not meant to be I'm not gonna force it <laughs> all righty then so let's start um who knows how many bees mouths <laughs> and stingers have touched these flowers they love to go after these um i wonder if it smells oh yes <laughs> Definitely very earthy nature grass. I love that smell. Mm. Oh my, that actually smells quite delightful. Didn't even realize they had a smell. Oops, oh, something's crawling. Okay, so moving on. A new beginning, a new rebirth, a new start. I think it's going to go on for a very long time. I mean, this feels eternity. Like, this feels like you're starting something that is the beginning of the rest of your life. And that is probably the most beautifully profound message I could possibly deliver to you at this time. But you, it's like you needed this message. Something tells me you needed to hear this. Because you weren't certain. You started something, maybe a new, I don't know, education, business, whatever, relationship. And then you're not sure, but it is going to be certain. It is going to work. This is confirming that for you. It's going to grow big and abundant. Make sure you maintain a good attitude, I would say, even working with others. But you don't have to worry about others. I feel more like you're going to work on your own. They give you the freedom to do Even if you work for someone like a boss or higher up or a company or corporation, you're still going to be, they're giving you the freedom to and trust. Maybe out of job experience, out of your resume, like they just trust you. They know that you. it's like you came back, maybe you started this job all over again, and you are able to fulfill what you need to accomplish here. Mm-hmm. Um, also, someone's giving you, like, the freedom to, like, they're giving you ideas or the creativity, something like that. The freedom to pick and choose what you want to do, really. Three, there's a trio energy here. I give you a trio energy here. I keep seeing kind of, like, something in threes lately that's coming back again. <sighs> but this time it's, like, it's not going to go for a turn. When, when the three people come in your life, that's when things change. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting that, okay? So maybe a group of three friends, and you're like, that's your sign to let you know something's about to happen. Something's about to unfold in a, in a different manner. Could be in the middle of next year, okay? Like June, July. <sighs> Forgive me for yawning. I've been doing readings all day. <laughs> um, it's my last video of today. So, I think you're going to start tapping into like angelic energies, light, maybe sprites, like very light, fairies, gnomes, that kind of energy, elemental, even lighter than elemental, because elementals are like pretty dense and heavy, but very light, wispy light, like a, of the light, right? And you're going to see something go by you and you're going to say like, hey, I wasn't sure what that was. Yeah, that's them, okay? Especially if you ever go in someone's backyard, aren't backyards, just beautiful. Um, and they have like a bunch of flowers and then like they have a garden gnome there to, they love that, like a bird bath, a fire pit, whatever, you know, um, they like to be around those things, good energy, stepping stones, garden statues, a garden, a, you know, you have your little gazebo there, like maybe this is something you're thinking of doing and like a late summer into fall project, you know, which I would think is the perfect time to do um, if you don't suffer the wrath of winters. <laughs> um, it's like start now though, because it's like you may not have time later okay so because you're so preoccupied i think you're gonna be very busy the first half of next year but also i'm getting that felt sense of um a f accomplishment fulfillment i think you're gonna have a very beautiful first half of the year and even rest of this year you're gonna have a very beautiful almost year and 
it's gonna be just what you're expecting it to be, what you've been waiting for. Um, people are gonna come to you. You're not gonna have to reach out anymore. People are gonna wanna converse with you because your energy is so good, all right? Um, oh, I don't know why this feels like the last reading. This is only the second reading. I have a third one coming up, but this feels like the last reading. This feels like it should be three. So I'm getting the vibe that maybe a lot of people pick this big three as well, or, you know, all of them. Um, but some of these messages will apply for if you're three, so I'll probably be sure to bring that up. Uh, someone's just sticking their tongue out at you, making fun of you, mocking, making a mockery of you, making you a fool behind your back. Um, that's okay. I wouldn't even be mad. Honestly, that should just inspire you to keep going. And it has something to do with karma. Um, it's your karma because you need to realize how to react properly to this individual that is being just, I don't even want to say immature, it's just playful. They don't even realize what they're doing. They're maybe just, I mean, they don't feel young, but it's like they just do that because they can. And it, it, it gives them a excitement and fulfillment knowing they're doing that behind your back and you don't even know it. You know, like, nah, 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 that kind of thing. Um, I think the feminine spirit, the divine feminine females in general are going to really shine next year. I don't know why. I think we're, we're changing from paternal to maternal, masculine to feminine, right? The earth is changing to a more feminine nature. That's why everything's becoming more... Different. I'll, I'll leave it there, okay? I don't even know what it's becoming. I think it's going to surprise all of us, but yeah, different. And it's not the feminine like the female human. No, there's a difference between the earth feminine and the female, the human feminine. There's similarities, but there, there's also differences that we do not understand yet because we have not lived through those times. We've been living through masculine. I'm in charge. I make the most money. Um, blah, blah, blah. You know, capitalism, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that kind of society. It's going to be very toned down, peaceful, gentle, maybe even boring to some. Um, like a retreat, like a retreat. So maybe that's something you're, you're already connecting with, even if you're a man. Like you're connecting with that female essence, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um... A lot of beauty and abundance. I think more than you even hope for, or expect, or ask for. It's like you're gonna put a little work and you're gonna get a lot. And by you getting a lot, you're gonna have to put more work. But don't feed into that beast. <laughs> don't feed into that because that's gonna leave you very, and there's a potential outcome you are left to figure this out on your own. And it's gonna be a, um, a little bit of scary dark place if you get there, but this is a forewarning for a reason. Do not get there. Put a little work, let a lot come through, but you don't have to answer to everyone, all right? If you succeed, you don't have to answer to everyone. Meaning, like, you can only do what you can do at the given time. You can't talk to 10,000 people a day. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to get someone else hired on board to do that for you, okay? <laughs> All right. So I think that's the message for you. Someone's going to flip the bird. Oh, boy. Someone's going to flip the bird at you, too. This feels like a different person. I don't know why people are so angry with you. It's like, I think they see your gentle, pure innocence and beauty. They're, they're, they're just mad that they don't have what you have and they can't be with you. So maybe these people, you're getting a lot of like date requests and offers, and I feel like you're either ignoring them or rejecting or denying their offers or maybe you're taken but they feel the hardship like they feel like oh yeah you you're a heartbreaker out there you know walking these streets <laughs> looking fine and then they can't be with you so um i would definitely you know i wouldn't live in fear but you know if you are a um mm, a woman who um mm, goes out on her own often frequently you know it doesn't hurt Turn around, you know, no one's following you too closely. 
looking shady or suspicious, I would just um, keep them at bay, okay? Because, um, yeah, um, out in public, open, daytime, around people. All right, that's your best bet. Mm, that's your best bet. All right. You'll be just fine. I don't see anything happening. Like I said, I just... Um, sometimes you need to remember you're still in the human physical 3D world with evil people walking these streets. So just, you know, don't go somewhere you wouldn't go. That's all I'm saying. All right. All right, all right, all right. That was your messages. And even men fall victim. You know, I'm not here to say just ladies, but it feels more like, again, the, the female essence has to be... more precautious during this time for some reason. I don't know why. Why would there be a reason? Don't know. Can't explain why I see what I see. Card three. I call this the combo platter. Card three. For goodness sake. Flower three. A mix of different flowers. What is going on with flower three? Is that it? I thought there was more. I know there was more. I just don't want to come out. <laughs> Can't force it, I guess. All right. There we go. So we have a mix of um, here. Uh, the first was hibiscus, second was some grass flowers. The third one is a mix of marigold, zinnia, some weed flower, and lavender and rosemary. So combo platter. <laughs> what is the message for you? Um, someone is like a thorn in your foot. Like literally, they, they, they feel like a thorn in your foot. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because that stuff you don't need to see. Um, I'm going to be honest, there's like an odd odor or a smell. Maybe like someone near you is like, um, you don't want to say it to their face, but they're like almost like you want to say something like, when was the last time you showered? Or when was the last time you brushed that tooth? Or, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, it's making you uncomfortable. It's like you're backing away and they're still getting close to you. <laughs> um, I consider more like a nuisance energy. It doesn't feel like someone you work with could be for a day or two. That's normal, you know. We're all decaying. We're all decomposing. Without our body wash, conditioner and toothbrush we all smell okay there's nothing wrong with that what i'm trying to say is that maybe they don't get it though they don't get that like it makes you uncomfortable that you're always like like th this is them and this is you and they're like this and you're just like this you know and you think okay they'll get the hint no then they're like this and then you're like okay i'm gonna go all the way over here and then they're like this again and you're like WTF. Okay, so yeah, that's hard to avoid, especially if you work with them, but this feels like a nuisance energy here, like a thorn in your foot. Um, it feels like two separate people again, though, okay? Um, there's a big spider here. I don't know, like, I'm sorry, I know, trigger warning. Okay, you can use your imagination. Um, we'll pretend they're like a cute, fuzzy creature. Well, anyway, uh, you might want to clean that closet. Clean your house a bit, you know. Uh, start vacuuming the corners, you know. Even the windowsill, you know. Start dusting areas you never usually pick that duster in. All right, because I feel like something's lurking there. And it's harmless in the sense that it's not going to do you anything if you leave it alone. But it's harmful if you just accidentally come across it one day and step on it or, yeah. You know, you, you put your hand in like a handbag and then, ouch, yeah. So it ends up crawling there because it finds it to be the safest place because you forgot about it two years ago and you finally decide to open it and it, or just rumble, rummage through it. Check, check everything. I would clean everything um, just to be on the safe side, all right? Especially if you live somewhere with bigger, you know, like here, like tropical Everything's bigger here. Oh, for goodness sake. Like, from the ants to the snakes to the... Oh, oh, oh my God. 
I mean, everything. It's crazy. Like, I'm like, how the hell did you get in this house if everything's closed? <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Just, just, just check, okay? Um, all right, shake it out. Don't just stick bare hands in without gloves. Just shake it out, you know, like, especially if it's a garage. They're always going to get in there anyway. I, this feels more like in your house. This feels like a corner, specifically a corner, you know? So check those closets, you know, just, you don't know what's been living there. And I know they say leave them alone because they help do pest control for you, but maybe you need to get that pest control going. Okay, I'm just saying, like, or, you know, spray in the corner, all right? Spray in the corner. Um, I'll leave it there. <sighs> there could, honestly, now that I th see it, two or more, okay? Um... I know these readings are weird because sometimes I get stuff that like why would I even bring that up if it has no relevance or I don't know why I just feel like it could lead into a bigger issue maybe it's pregnant and it's going to shoot 40 and now you have an issue so wouldn't it be better to prevent that issue it feels like a mother okay this is what I'm getting at all right um I'm not here to beat around the bush Although it makes you uncomfortable. Okay, sorry about that. I have to spill the tea. <laughs> spill the tea leaves, right? I spilled the tea leaves right here for you. Although I don't know if you can make tea with this. Well, maybe the lavender. Anyway. Um, can you make tea with zinnia? Nah. And rosemary. Yeah, you can make with rosemary and lavender. Um, all right. So there's um, something that takes you for an L, literally. Um you have to kind of change course so some of you maybe are traveling south you have to actually go a little east so maybe you know um make sure if it's a long road trip you didn't accidentally press the town next over to the south and you meant to go east it's okay it happens but you know it just takes a slip of a finger to accidentally make your gps go somewhere else <laughs> and before you know it you're 250 miles off course so just double check that <laughs> all right um i think it's happened to all of us but that's what i'm getting at here something rotting also take care of your house like take care of your house i don't care how much you have to work to pay that mortgage honey take care of your house this is why you buy a house you have to work for that house but also to take care of it there's rotting fruit there's literally rotting stuff even in your fridge. Something might be like a smell. Even behind your trash can, there's stuff there. I don't know. I'm just getting like, needs to be vacuumed. Something also needs to be vacuum sealed. Okay, so that doesn't happen next time because that stuff invites bad energy into your home. So I feel like, um, why am I seeing so many threes happening here today? I'm getting a triangle. It's like three. It's like, um... 60 degree, I would say, and then 45 degree, 45 degree on the other sides. No, no, I'm sorry. This feels like 90 degree, <laughs> 45 degree, 45 degree. Yeah, something like that. So, um, what is that about? I don't know. But, um, someone's giving you the cold shoulder. But they don't know you're the light in their world that they need. So joke's on them. There's a big arrow pointing you to your past. You need to stop ignoring your past, guys. Stop it. You need to address that issue and that feeling. You need to address it to someone. Go back in your past and say, hey, here's how you did me wrong. Here's how you effed me up. Here's how you made me the victim. It's okay to be the victim in this scenario. Shining your light is not always quoting what you see um, quoted. That's not doing anyone any justice or good. In fact, you better shut that mouth if you better do that, right? No. Or if they do that to you, rather. Shining light means, hey, you did me dirty, and I hate you for it. 
that's shining your light. Because you're shining a light on an issue someone's being fake about and ignoring. Yeah, I said it. Someone's being fake as hell with you. And they because they're afraid, what it boils down to, they're afraid to feel that feeling. They're afraid your reaction, your hurtful, hateful reaction. But it's not hurtful because once you shine that light, that flashlight on that key issue, and you may have to kind of keep constantly repeating it to them so they get it. And then when they introduce the fact that they, that when you introduce that fact to them and they get it, it's like when roaches flee, right? <laughs> you shine that light. Don't be afraid to, all right? It doesn't mean om, namaste, peace, zen, love. Screw that if you don't have a solution to this problem. You can be all Buddha, Zen, Om, bliss after you take care of this issue. All of that nonsense is cover up for the issue. So if they're being fake, pretend nice with you, you're not about to have it anymore. In fact, I feel like you're done with it. You are overdone with it. You've been done with it. Overspent. And they're suckling your energy without you noticing. Good. Little by little, bit by bit. Something about, just remember, not everyone is welcome in your space, in your home environment. Some of you are building floor plans, designing a blueprint of a new home, custom building something, architecture, and not everyone's welcome in your home because they're going to see those plans and they're going to just not wish you well without you even noticing. And you're like, I wonder why this didn't happen ever since I invited that guest. Oh, well, there's your answer. You invited that guest in your home and you were not supposed to. They sent you some bad energy. So you need to walk in there either with some sage or burn some herbs like this. I'm telling you. And that even makes the... Creepy crawlies flee too. So thank you so much. Well, not always, but anyway. It takes much more than that. I know a lot of them don't like lavender and peppermint, so you can maybe try that if you are against chemicals and harming wildlife. I would just use something natural remedy to at least prevent them from entering your home and causing a further ruckus and nuisance. But if you really don't mind them, then what can I say? But anyway, so it's a lot about your home, a lot about your house. I don't know what that is, okay? So if you are... I'm buying a new house. This is what I see. Thank you so much. 20%. 22. If you'd like to use for future bookings for life. On TonyBomboni.com. You have to sign up for my newsletter. Or book once. Just once. To qualify for that 20% for life. For all my services. TonyBomboni.com. Subscribe. Tap the bell. Hit all notifications. If you enjoy this video reading. Thank you so much for making it through. Another reading with me. We have two more this week, then we're done. All right. Love and light. Bye-bye.